finding the courage to do what you came here to do. This Aries moon for today is all about putting yourself out there. It is all about being who you are meant to be. And what does it mean for you to be that way in the world? What ways would you have of moving? What kind of actions would you take? What kind of risks do you need to take in order to be living your truth, in order to be fulfilling the uh, impulse of your soul? <laughs> and so it's big stuff, but it's also very here and now. I'm Marina Orms here with your Astro Vibe for Saturday, September 2nd. And today's moon in Aries is following the Pisces full moon from earlier this week. We had a lot of energy of transcendence, of listening to the bigger picture of guidance, of opening our hearts, of trusting the flow of the universe. And now we get to shift into the energy of action and courage. So of course, it takes you um, not just sitting around and having great ideas and not just processing your feelings. All those are important as well. Um, but it, there's a point where you have to take an action, find your courage, do the thing that is hard. And the energy of Aries, it's the energy of the warrior, but it's also the energy of the fool and when you think about what is the fool like in the tarot deck, the archetypal fool, the fool is the innocent. It is the energy of stepping into something that you didn't anticipate, of something you didn't understand or didn't have complete control over. And so being that fool and foolishly going where maybe your rational mind says, that's um, not really the best idea, but your um, but your being some sort of impulse inside of you, that deeper truth that's speaking to you, your heart's wisdom is telling you, yeah, you need to go there because maybe there's something there for you that you can't see from here. And so I'm not saying to override your rational faculties that, that we want to have balance always, but just, just remember that sometimes your heart has something to tell you that your mind or your ego might feel is, um, it feels uncomfortable, but it's also exactly where you need to be. So that energy of the warrior, that energy of the fool is, is giving us that just do it attitude <laughs> that don't hold back that it's worth a try kind of spirit and it sometimes is trial and error that's going to help us learn what we need to learn and um aries is the energy of stepping into our identity and so that's why it follows Pisces. Pisces is about dissolving old forms. It's about dissolving structures that are based in physical reality and surrendering to a bigger picture. And then following that energy of Pisces, we have uh, the Aries energy that invites us to be reborn, to step into a new sense of self. So this is all connected to this month's, this moon cycle theme of uh, creativity and self-expression. So what is it that you need to try or do or take action on that is related to your self-expression, to being yourself, to following that bigger spiritual soul-oriented impulse to be yourself? to uh, to be yourself unapologetically, right? To give yourself permission to say, hey, you know, I am not going to hold myself back just because it's going to step on someone's toes or just because it's not convenient. 
I need to have that experience of stepping into what it means to be me. And the thing about Aries is that you sometimes you find out, hey, <laughs> maybe I don't want to do it that time again or that way, <laughs> the way I did it that time. Maybe I don't want to do that again, or maybe I want to do it differently next time. And that's what Aries is all about. It's all about trial and error. It's all about making mistakes so we can learn taking risks because risks is how we discover. So Aries is a sign of discovery of what it means to be us and how we move in the world. And you cannot be yourself if you hide or hold back or don't allow yourself to be big and take up space. So the energy of Aries is not like big and taking up space in the same way that Leo is, although they are both fire signs. Um, Aries is being big and taking up space in the sense of, I don't care what you think. <laughs> I'm not going to censor myself because this makes you uncomfortable. So tune in uh, to that energy of trusting yourself, of acting from your own truth, acting on the impulse to be alive. Aries is life force energy. Um, and what is it that you need to, how do you need to move? What do you need to try? And what do you need to, uh, where do you need to go that is calling you forward, even though it may not make sense to your, uh, your ego mind, right? That is wanting you to stay in your comfort zone. And that, uh, that energy of Aries is going to help us change. Um, it is falling in during a waning moon. So waning gibbous moon is following the full moon. That means we are beginning to digest and process and integrate what was revealed around the full moon. And what was revealed around the full moon relates back to the intentions we set at the new moon. So while the moon is waning or going from full back to new or getting smaller each night, we are integrating what we've, uh, what's been uncovered or discovered around the full moon. So those spiritual uh, ways of knowing that were illuminated around the full moon get implemented through our action and our ways of being. So we're we're processing, we're integrating, we're digesting, and we're doing that in this case with the Aries moon, which is through risk-taking and finding courage and you um get to you it's your birthright to be yourself right like if we don't have any uh, other rights in this world what would it be besides being ourselves so um you get to be yourself you get to be yourself unapologetically and fully and this aries moon is about trying that out discovering new ways of being, stepping into new identities like a new like a snake shedding its skin and you get to be reborn into a new sense of self. So um, that can be in small ways, maybe in your life it's showing up in bigger ways, different uh, things impact us as individuals in different ways and different things impact some people more than others. It's going to depend on how it activates your own natal chart through transits and, and all that type of thing. So if you're interested in exploring your own transits, if you're going through something now that you would like some deeper insight into, it's a perfect time to get an astrology reading. I have uh, astrology readings available on my website, astrologyheals.com. Check it out and keep moving forward and finding the courage to be you. And in the process, you're discovering something deeper and more true about who you are and what that looks like and how you express that through movement and action and courage. All right, thanks so much for being here. Once again, I am Marina Orms. You can learn more about me and schedule time with me at astrologyheals.com. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And thank you so much for being here and your support and spreading the word here every day with unshakable self-care through astrology. All right, see you next time. Bye for now.